everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the box stitch. And this is the stitch here in front of me. This is a stitch with a beautiful texture. It creates a beautiful fabric that can be worked in one color or in many. The texture is all to one side. I've worked it here in two different colors. Now depending on the project that you were using it in, uh, you can see I have carried my yarn up the side, but depending on the project you're using it in, you may wish to cut the yarn and weave it in as you go. It's up to you. The stitch is uh, fairly straightforward. It's a long repeat. Um, you're going to be re repeating later on rows 3 to 10, so it is a little bit to take in, uh, but it's well worth it once you get the hang of it. Today for the tutorial we're going to use a worsted weight or medium weight cotton yarn. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Line Brand in two different colors. You're also going to need a 5mm or an H8 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot, working with our color A. And you're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to have a multiple of 10 plus 2 stitches. So today I'm going to chain 32. There's 20. And there's 30, 31, and 32. Now in my sample that I showed you earlier, I did work a row of foundation single crochet stitches that you can kind of see down here. Uh, today I'm not going to work that row, but if you do want to work a row of single crochet stitches all the way across, you can do so starting in the second chain from your hook. Otherwise, today we're going to begin with our color A and we're going to single crochet into that second chain from our hook. You're then going to skip the next four chains and into your next chain you're going to work five double crochet chain one and five more double crochet all back into that same chain. You're then going to skip the next four chains and make sure when you're counting them that you're not missing any of those chains. So into each of your next four chains, skip the next four chains, sorry, and then single crochet into your next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next four chains into your next chain work five double crochets, chain one, five double crochets, skip four chains, and single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row one, you're working a single crochet into that final chain after skipping your final four chains. 
You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to work a front post single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So these are your five double crochet stitches. To work your front post single crochet stitch, you're going to be bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front, around back of the post, and out through the front again of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's your front post single crochet. So you're going to work a front post single crochet around that first stitch and then each of the next four stitches. Chain one. You're then going to front post single crochet around each of the next five stitches. Five double crochets. Front post single crochet around the post of the next single crochet stitch and then repeat. Front post single crochet around each of the next five double crochet stitches, chain one, front post single crochet around each of the next five double crochet stitches, and then front post single crochet around the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch where you will work a single crochet stitch into the top of your final stitch. When you come across at the end of your row two, you have one stitch remaining, you're going to single crochet into the top of that stitch. Now if you are changing color, you're going to make your first color change at this time. So I'm going to change color, I'm going to insert my hook into that final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, two loops on my hook. I'm going to drop that color A, pick up my color B and place it on my hook and then pull through. Now again, depending on what you are working on, you may want to cut that thread, fasten off, weave in your ends, or you can carry it up the side if you're going to work an edging later on, as I'm going to do here. At the end of row two then, you with your color B, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. For row three, Continue working with our color B. We're going to work a double crochet into the first stitch, into that first single crochet. You're then going to chain three, skip the next five stitches, and work a single crochet into the next chain one space. chain three, skip the next five stitches, and into the next single crochet, you're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the same stitch. Chain three, and repeat. Skip the next five stitches into your next chain one space, work a single crochet, chain three, skip the next five stitches, and into your next single crochet, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Repeat all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet stitch, you're simply going to work into that final single crochet, 
a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. That brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of your row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, skip the next chain three space, single crochet into the next single crochet, chain three, skip the next chain three space, and single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Chain two, skip the next chain two space, single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Chain three, single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Chain three, single crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, single crochet in the next double crochet and repeat. When you come to your final stitches, you're going to single crochet into that fi and final double crochet, chain one, skip chain one, uh, the final chain of your starting chain four, and single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. That brings you to the end of your row four. At the end of row four, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a double crochet and a chain one space, and turn your work. For row five, we're going to begin by working five double crochet stitches into the first stitch. You're then going to skip the next chain one and the single crochet and your chain three space and then work a single crochet stitch into the chain one space four rows below. So this is the chain one space that is under your front post single crochet stitches. So it's actually the chain one space of row one. So insert your hook and you're going to work a single crochet working over top of all of those rows previous. You're then going to skip the next chain three space and into the next chain two space two rows below. So you have this chain two space, but it's the one that's underneath of it. You're going to work five double crochet. So you're working over your previous row, five double crochet. chain one and five more double crochet stitches all into that same chain two space, two rows below. You're now going to repeat, skip the next chain three space and then single crochet into the next chain one space four rows below, working over top of all of the rows four. Skip the next chain three space into your next chain two space two rows below, 
work five double crochet chain one and five more double crochet stitches all in, into that same chain two space two rows below repeat all the way across until you come to your final single crochet and into this final single crochet you're going to work five double crochet stitches sorry we're actually going to work those five into the final chain one space so you have your final chain one space work five double crochet stitches into that chain one space chain one and double crochet into the final single crochet stitch and that brings you to the end of your row five at the end of row five chain one and turn your work we're now going to work some more front post single crochet stitches so for row six start by working a single crochet into the top of the first stitch and then a front post single crochet around each of the next 11 stitches before you do that though chain one and then work a front post single crochet around each of the next 11 stitches five your sixth stitch is actually that single crochet stitch and then five more double crochets sing uh, five more front post single crochets around the next five double crochet stitches chain one and repeat work one front post single crochet around each of the next 11 stitches chain one and repeat all the way to your final chain four when you come to that final chain four you're going to chain one and single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four now also in this stitch we are going to switch back to our color a just as we did before uh, by picking up our color a placing it on our hook and pulling through For row seven with your color A, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Next, work a single crochet into your first stitch. 
chain three, skip the chain one space and each of the next five stitches. Into your next stitch, work one double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the same stitch. Chain three, and sing skip the next five stitches and single crochet into your next chain one space. You're now going to repeat that all the way across chain three, skip the next five stitches, and double crochet, chain two, and double crochet all into the same stitch. S chain three, skip the next five stitches, single crochet into your next chain one space. When you come all the way across, you're going to end with a chain three and then a single crochet into the top of your final single crochet stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row eight, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, chain three, skip the next chain three space and single crochet into the top of the next double crochet, chain two, skip the next chain two space, single crochet into the top of the next double crochet, chain three, and single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch, chain three, and repeat. I'm going to repeat this all the way across. When you come to your final stitches, chain three and single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row eight, you can chain one and turn your work. For row nine, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch, skip the next chain three space and into the next chain two space two rows below work five double crochet chain one and five more double crochet stitches into the same chain two space. Skip the next chain three space, single crochet into the next chain one space, four rows below working over top of all of the rows above it. Skip the next chain three space into your next chain two space, two rows below, work five double crochet stitches, chain one, and five more double crochet.
skip the next chain three space, single crochet into the next chain one space, four rows below, and continue the repeat all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, you're simply going to single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row 9, you can chain 1 and turn your work. For row 10, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to work a front post single crochet around each of the next 5 stitches, 5 double crochets. chain one, skip the next chain one space, and front post single crochet around each of the posts of the next five double crochet stitches. Front post single crochet around the post of the next single crochet stitch, and then repeat front post single crochet around the posts of each of the next five double crochet stitches chain one front post single crochet around the posts of each of the next five double crochet stitches front post single crochet around the post of the next single crochet stitch and continue all the way across when you come to your final stitch you're simply going to work a single crochet into the top of that final stitch switching back to your color B You can then chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and a chain one, and turn your work. And that's it as far as the repeats are concerned in this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to simply repeat rows three through to ten for as long as you desire. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is the crochet box stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.